Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking LEGO Dimensions and all the Wave 9 packs that were just revealed. The giveaway is back. Simply comment and subscribe and you could win a prize. Yes, it's true, the Wave 9 packs have all been revealed, and they all come from the final franchises Beetlejuice, Powerpuff Girls, and Teen Titans Go. And they'll all be in stores September 12th. There will be two packs from Teen Titans Go, including this team pack. This one includes Beast Boy and Raven. And these minifigures definitely have that stylized look that they have in the show. We've got a new headpiece for Beast Boy, and he comes with an accessory of a banana. And Raven's design features some nice printing on the legs, as well as that lightning bolt piece. While these minifigures are certainly accurate to the show, I don't totally love this stylized look. Included with Beast Boy, we have the T-Car, which can be rebuilt into the forklift and the T-Plane. And included with Raven, we've got the Spell Book of Azeroth, which can transform into Raven Wings, and the Giant Hand. And I think this book has a really cool design. Next up, we've got the Teen Titans Go Fun Pack, which includes Starfire. This minifigure also has that cartoony design, and I think it looks really nice with that pink hair. But again here, I definitely prefer the version that we got in the Jokerland set, as I think it's more my style. Included with Starfire, we've got the Titan Robot, which can be rebuilt into the T-Rocket and the Robot Retriever. Raven, Beast Boy, and Starfire can all access the Teen Titans Go Adventure World in Jump City. There's tons of areas to explore, including Titans Tower and Wackadoodles Amusement Park. And even just looking through these screenshots, we can see Jump City High School and lots of Teen Titans Go Easter eggs. While I certainly understand that a lot of you guys hoped for different versions of these characters, I do think that they're going to be really nice to have in the game. The designs are very accurate to their portrayals in the show. And Jump City in the adventure world here should be a ton of fun to explore. Next up from Powerpuff Girls, we've got the Powerpuff Girls Team Pack, which includes minifigures of Blossom and Bubbles. These minifigures look absolutely amazing, and that's all thanks to those brand new head molds, which are enormous, but perfect for Powerpuff Girls. The printing on the torso is quite simple, and the shoes are printed on the front of the feet. The only thing that looks slightly odd to me are the eye printing from this angle, but overall, I think from straight on, they look perfect. In this pack, we also get the Octi, which can be rebuilt into the Super Skunk or the Sonic Squid, as well as the PPG Smartphone, which can be rebuilt into the PPG Hotline and the Powerpuff Magnet. I personally really like these two builds, as they feature some really bright colors and some great prints. Next up, we've got the Powerpuff Girls Fun Pack, and this one includes a minifigure of Buttercup. This minifigure looks just as good as her two sisters, featuring a unique head mold again. And I'm so glad that we're able to get all three. Included in this set, we've got the Mega Blast Bot, which can be rebuilt into the Kapow Cannon and the Slammin' Guitar. Again, this one features some bright colors, but I don't think the overall brick-built design is so exciting. The Powerpuff Girls unlock the adventure world featuring Townsville. There's going to be tons of locations to visit, like Pokey Oaks Elementary, Rainbow Land, and of course, Professor Utonium's Lab. These characters are going to be a ton of fun to have in the game, and I can't wait to explore the adventure world, as well as the battle arena. And last but certainly not least, we've got the Beetlejuice Fun Pack. And this one, of course, features Beetlejuice himself. This Beetlejuice minifigure looks amazing to me. He features that grimy design and the striped suit, and I can't wait to play this one in the game. Included with this pack, we've got Saturn Sandworm, which can be rebuilt into the Haunted Vacuum and the Spooky Spider. And I really love the overall design of this and the way that it curves forward. The Beetlejuice Adventure World also looks so amazing and definitely like one of the more unique ones. And I think the Beetlejuice pack might be the one I'm looking forward to the most. I love these fun packs like Beetlejuice and E.T., where it only takes one pack to unlock an entire world that's going to be so much fun to explore. So there you have it, folks, all of the packs for Wave 9. These will be available September 12th, and I can't wait to pick all of them up. Now we finally have gotten packs from all of the different franchises promised for year two. So this may be the end of all that we can expect. Given the rumors of cancellation, as well as the level packs that were removed from the original level select screen, I wonder if any of these were supposed to be level packs. But no matter how you look at it, we're going to get a ton of great new minifigures and vehicles to play in the game. And I personally am so pumped. But definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think of all the packs? And which ones will you be picking up? And don't forget, your comment enters you for the giveaway. You must be a subscriber to win. And definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. And if you like what you saw here, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one.
Hey guys, Michael here. Click here to learn all about the upcoming LEGO Batman movie sets. And don't forget to subscribe.